Cool. Those government spooks are keeping an eye on me. At this rate, they could just take me away and nobody would ever know. <sighs> Not here today. Miyuki Inaba was right about everything. There was a boundary. So here we are, in 30 kilometers of city. And beyond that, nothing. Wish I could pretend it was all a dream. My own private little adventure with Yuki-chan. Back in my dream, he called himself Tetsuya Ida. We look identical, but that's not my name, so... <sighs> Well, it's not just our names. He and I are totally different people. In my dream, her soul was in an android body. That's gotta be the craziest feeling. What would it even be like, not having a body of your own? So she was watching me this whole time? On behalf of that shady outfit? Is that why she approached me at all? Yuki-chan. No. Wait, I'm the one who approached her, and she has to keep an eye on me? Well, hey, maybe this isn't so bad after all. So she's been monitoring me this whole time? That's crazy. Also, not gonna lie, weirdly hot. <gasps> Shukun, please help me. Hey! He knows I'm here now. He's going to try to have me eliminated. What? Wait, wait, what do you mean, eliminated? There's so much I still don't get here. I need a real explanation. I know. But I had to hack my way in to reach you. My connection won't last long. When you say he, you mean Tetsuya Ida? Yes. Why is he after you? Because I'm helping you. I was right. He's trying to reset Project Ark. He wants to reset it? What would that do? The world would be destroyed by Kaiju. Everything will be gone. They want to start over. They want to restart this world from the beginning. They've done it before. And a reset means you would be erased, too. You're talking about Kaiju now? You've already seen them. <sighs> you mean those things in my dreams? The Sentinels were built to fight those Kaiju. To defend the world you call home. So it's just space beyond the enclosure walls. That means we're in some huge spaceship, right? Why does all of this exist? Why cover up the truth? There is a supercomputer hidden below your town. We call it Universal Control. It has led you to believe you live in Japan, in a certain historical era. Why? Possibly to make your lives easier? Possibly to make you easier to manage. Even I couldn't tell you the real reason. So why are you trying to help us? You still don't know who I am. You and I have met many times in your dreams. Wait. You're not Tetsuya Ida, are you? Overthinking this. Shukun, please. We don't have much time. Please, give it some more thought. Oh, that 
song from my dream. You don't mean... you're... You finally realized. This is how I got past universal control. I sang on an inconspicuous broadcast with all my heart. Just like I used to. Kisaragi. Yes, it's me. But a different Tomi Kisaragi from the one in your world. I'm not human anymore. Just data on a computer. But that's exactly how I can still help you. Oh no. He's at Sector 3's terminal. Help me, Shukun. If we don't stop him, he'll erase me. What should I do? Inside the outer walls. I hid your sentinel in. Hey! No, come on! Don't leave me hanging like this! She's gone. What happens if I go there? Can I really make a difference? I can already tell this is gonna be a huge mess. Nope. Nope. A girl has asked for my help. I can't just run away from this. I'll go. And I'll figure out the rest when I get there. Any sudden moves and I shoot. Shinonome-senpai? The door was locked! How did you get in? I broke the lock. With that gun? There was an agent, too. I put him to sleep. All right. You were at the park with him. Are you with the Shady Spy Bureau, too? Yes. So? What do you want with me? I need your Sentinel. My Sentinel? Call it here. That's a thing I can do? I have no idea how. Senpai, I'm sorry. But I've got something I need to do. You want me to shoot you? I have to go stop Ida. Uh. Huh? Sounds like we're on the same side. Past the tunnel? Yeah. That's where the Sentinel's hidden. Apparently. That's some Sentinel. It must weigh hundreds of tons. How does it fly in the air? But what I really don't understand is how you controlled it without any problems. Piloting a Sentinel damages you, like what happened to me. So most people can't operate them. What? You mean piloting a Sentinel did all that stuff to you? You know, it's not too late to turn back. It is too late. Easy, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna give up now. The girl's in trouble. You know where you're going, don't you, Senpai? There are two terminals that have been analyzed so far. Sector 1 and Sector 3. But we can only get into one of them. That'd be the terminal in Sector 3. I'm not really sure I'm following here. Mr. Ida was supposed to take me with him. But he took Takamiya-san instead. Yuki-chan? What's he planning with Yuki-chan? He needed biometric ID from one of us. It's the only way he can access the terminal. But now he's put the gate into lockdown. That means a sentinel's the only way to shift in. It's just up ahead. of the spaceship, I guess. It's a spaceship? What are you talking about? Oh, whoa, uh... Okay, so you never found out that part. It's a long story. 
This doesn't make sense. How could there be a facility like this in a tunnel? I don't know how, but there is. Let's look for the Sentinel. It's really here. The one I saw at the park. Miyuki and Abba hid it here. She's been reaching out to me. Using my TV set to break through the walls that separate us. She's the Tomi Kisaragi I saw in my dreams. The Tomi Kisaragi who has no body left. Just a mind inside a machine. So, now what? Well, activate it. Yeah, but how? How did you do it before? I don't know, it just kinda happened. <sighs> what about your activation switch? You should have one somewhere on your body. A switch? Where nanomachines were shot into you. That's where code was injected into your system. So that should be where your switch is. <sighs> oh yeah, I got shot. I think she got me... right around here? Swipe across it. See if that starts things up. Here goes nothing. So I just swipe it... like this? from number 14. There should be a maintenance hatch somewhere. From there, I could set the shift destination. Okay, let me look. I found it! I think. Where is it? In the back. How's it looking down there? I've set the shift destination. Now you just need to confirm it. Okay, here we go. This thing better not let us down. Found a way through on Shu Amiguchi's Sentinel? I suppose this is because I chose Takamiya-kun over you. Those emotional impulses of yours... really do try my patience. That's not why, Mr. Ida. Huh? You're Tetsuya Ida, huh? I know about you. I've seen a lot of your past. Well, that's inconvenient. She's still transplanting memories, then. Well, I know you, too. Perhaps better than anyone else could. After all, I've known you all your life. Ever since I dropped you off as a newborn. Dropped me off? I placed you into the Amiguchi family as a child. Then 
You're saying... You are genetically identical to me. You are Tetsuya Ida. <sighs> Yuki-chan's got nothing to do with this. Let her go! I'm afraid she's a vital part of the process. I need her biometrics to access the computer. You should know this is partly your fault. Up until now, I had simply been borrowing your ID. But then you had to go and access your Sentinel. Which means authorization has been restored to you. Yuki-chan, don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. Amiguchi... You have feelings for Yuki Takamiya, I take it? Yeah. I love her. You know, under any other circumstances, it'd be fascinating. Genetically identical, but our experiences made us very different people indeed. A shame. There is nothing you can do to change this. <sighs> Miyuki... Inaba? So here you are at last. Your singing gave you away. I recognized it instantly. I'm still your biggest fan, believe it or not. Inakun, please. Think this over. I have to start things over for the two of us. This is a mistake. I'm afraid you're the one who's mistaken. It's too late. This place will be gone soon enough anyway. Or do you have some other option to share? <sighs> Even if I did, you wouldn't listen to me. Not the way you are now. Stop! I won't let you erase her! Erase her? Please. I love Tomi Kisaragi. There's no need for anything as drastic as that. But I do need to silence her, as a precautionary measure. You can cut off communications, but I'm not going to give up. I don't need to cut off communications. It doesn't matter where you are. After all, you're a Sentinel AI now. She's in a Sentinel? And I happen to have command authorization over the Sentinels. All of them up to number 19. That's impossible. Wait, Edekun! I'm in orbit right now. I'm watching this all from the command ship's computer. And I can see everything. I know what'll happen to that whole area. The reset will change everything. It'll all be broken down and rebuilt, but... Indeed. A new beginning for you and me. No, you don't understand. Attention! Emergency protocol. Four shut down Sentinel number 16. Don't! You know about... Bastard! She'll be asleep until all of this is over. That's the last variable taken care of. I think our work here is done. We're returning to Sector 4. And you're coming with us, Shu Amiguchi. As will you, Shinonome-kun. Come on. You know you need me. Uh, uh. Hey, really? That's my girl. We're leaving. Collect the equipment. I know what you've really been trying to do. Back then, all those nights in the lab, you weren't trying to bring her back. You wanted to remake Kisaragi the way you wanted her to be. Ida, you think we're the same person? You're nothing like me! I'd never use a girl as some tool! <sighs> Little shit! Stop right there! Don't move. Damn it. Hamiguchi kun, hurry. Right. You hurt Yuki chan? 
Hamiguchi. Uh, Shino no me. Uh, you can be such an inconvenience. Speaking of. Uh, Hamiguchi! Takamiya kun, I suggest you come quietly. Or Amiguchi will suffer the consequences. You son of a bitch! Yuki-chan, don't risk it! <sighs> if we could hurry this up... On it, sir. What? Seriously. Hey, you want to do this yourself? Be my guest. Keep it cool. He's doing fine. Yuki-chan, I promised I'd save her. I'm going after her, no matter what it takes. It doesn't seem as if the director's coming back. Which means it may be up to us to find our way back home. Probably best to work together for now. So you guys really have no idea how to work all this stuff? Our intel suggested it's just not possible for us. The only ones with clearance and ability are the special miners. But we'll certainly make an effort. The way Miyuki and Abba tells it, those dreams weren't from the future like I thought they were. They already happened. It's all in the past. Can't your robot do something to solve this? It's capable of transporting us across time, correct? Hell if I know, man. My senpai was the one who set up the time travel. Sure, I can fly the thing. But I'd have no idea how to get us home. How much does your organization know? Do they have any real info on how this place works? Well, it's a UFO made by scientists of the future. Since before our time, it's been buried here, deep underground. Okay, so you're basically clueless. Sound about right? <sighs> Come on, out of the way. This is nothing like my microcomputer at home. Damn it. This doesn't look good. I can't help Miyuki and Abba. I can't even go after Yuki-chan. What am I supposed to do here? Huh? Where'd the console go? Did it work? No. It just started moving by itself. Minami? Amiguchi-kun? The data you get! Men in black! <laughs> 